Okay, we'll go ahead and get started with quarterbacks coach Chris Wanky. We'll open it right up for questions for Coach Wanky. Rod, if you want to get us started. There's been a lot of talk actually about the installation of the new offense. And how have your quarterbacks adapted? Yeah, anytime you put in a new offense, it's always probably the most challenging for the quarterback, right? Obviously has the responsibility of knowing what everybody's doing. Um, I love the progress our quarterbacks are making. Um, Obviously, it's springtime, gives you a little opportunity to, to be able to install some stuff without a whole lot of pressure. Um, but I think what we're doing philosophically, the kids like. Uh, they're getting a better understanding every day. I think the thing that I've been most pleased with, um, especially in a new offense, is the first time we rep it, if they make a mistake, they usually don't make the same mistake again when we run it again. So that's obviously encouraging as a coach that they're learning uh, from their mistakes. Um, but I think the progress uh, has been evident from you know, practice one to where we are sitting today. So very pleased with, with the direction that we're headed. Still a long ways to go, um, but I think the guys are get, getting more comfortable and, and uh, I think excited about the opportunities um, in this offense as a quarterback. Ron, so Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, I always say when you, when, you, when you think you have all the answers, you're probably wrong. Um, I love the fact that they're, they're getting more comfortable. Um, but I've always said that every quarterback room, individually, guys are different. Some guys uh, are functional thinkers, which they can process information. Some guys maybe physically are better than other guys. I think uh, we've got a good, solid room. Um, I think they all have done a good job of being able to absorb the information. Um, you know, from a physical standpoint, they're all a little bit different, but you also have to look at, we've got a kid that's supposed to still be in high school in Zach Pyron. You've got a guy in Jeff Sims who's um, clearly got a lot of playing experience. And then we have a transfer in, in Zach Gibson that, you know, obviously has some experience at Akron um, and now is learning a new offense, but you can tell that uh, there's been some game experience there with them. So um, it's always a work in progress. You know, I could sit there and individually say, hey, this guy needs to work on this. And I think collectively continue to, to get comfortable in the offense. Um, you know, it's new verbiage. They're learning a new language. And I think the biggest thing with the quarterbacks is be able to understand in this concept, I got to go from here to here to here, right? And I think as we continue to, to rep it, they'll continue to get better. Well, I think it's a match made in heaven. Um, when you look at the physical tools that Jeff, Jeff Sims brings to the table in terms of his ability to make every throw, uh, obviously uh, really good arm strength. And also in our offense, um, there'll be times where he's asked to run the football. The advantage you have there with a guy is, hey, if the shot's available, we're going to take it. And his arm strength will allow us to do that. If it's not available, the ability to be able to, to move and scramble and make plays with his legs is also very evident. So I think the, this offense is probably a perfect fit for Jeff. I think Jeff is, um, has continued to learn more about it every day and get more excited about it every day. When you look at a guy like Zach Pyron, obviously a guy that moved around, played some safety in high school, was uh, a triple option quarterback early in his career. His ability to move is, is, is going to be um, – advantageous to him in this offense. And then Zach Pyron, not probably, uh, I mean, Zach Gibson, not probably as mobile as the other two, um, but still his his experience will allow him to get the ball out of his hands. So. Do you get a sense that uh, Jeff has sort of embraced this uh, challenge? I mean, as you say, a guy with all the tools, but yeah. hasn't quite always put it out there on game day. Do you see this as a, as a moment that he's sort of viewing as like, all right, this is, this is my chance to really take that next step? Well, I hope so. And I think that, um, you know, again, I can't speak of what's happened in the past, right? I can go by from the day I walked in here and he came into my office, the guy was hungry. Um, he wanted to learn, he wanted to be coached, he wants to be coached hard. Um, he is up here in the building all the time asking for more. So that's the first indication that he's excited about the offense. Um, I just think that, um, you know, when you look at, regardless of what happened in the past, this is a brand new offense. Um, I told him, hey, let's let's start with a clean slate. You know, we're going to teach you this offense, and we're going to demand a lot of things out of you. Um, and I think he really likes that approach. 
Um, and he likes what we're doing offensively because I think he can see himself having success. And that goes for any quarterback. When you can play with confidence and you know what you're doing, you have a heck of a lot more fun. And, uh, and he's been able to see some success early on in spring and will continue to build that. And he'll be the first uh, to let you know when he made a mistake. So that's also a good understanding for me as a coach that, hey, the guy understands the offense and, and knows that, hey, I made a mistake here and, and we'll clean it up. So uh, really pleased again with where he's at, really excited about what he can bring to the table as he continues to grow and mature in this offense. Chris, Yeah, well, I think um, first and foremost is the fact that we're a pro-style offense that plays with tempo. So we're going to put the pressure on the defense, um, and I think our philosophy is take shots down the field. We want big plays. Uh, if it's not there, uh, obviously we have answers um, if they're not there. So I think the exciting part of this offense is the, uh, is the opportunity for us to take shots down the field um, as well as um, be able to play with tempo. Um, we're going we're gonna to stress the defense, um, and I think – that's very advantageous for us. Um, and I think when, when, when we think we're tired, the defense is twice as tired. So uh, obviously, you can, you can put a lot of pressure on them. Rob? For you personally, how much fun is it to get back out there and coaching and teaching these kids? Oh, yeah. There's nothing better than being on the grass. You know, it's, uh, it's what I love to do. I'm passionate about it, probably sometimes too passionate about it. But I love what I do. I love, you know, um, I tell, I tell my guys every day, I wish I could put the pads on one more time and go do it, but I can't. Um, so I have to vicariously live through these guys. Um, and that's why I'm going to push them and demand them to do things the right way because I know what it feels like to have success. I also know what it feels like to not have success. So uh, my goal every single day is to, is to come to this office early in the morning and make sure that I'm putting these guys in a position to be successful. And I think they can feel and sense that. Uh, I've really enjoyed my quarterback room. Yeah, it's so, so hard right now. You know, they're, they're sharing reps. We're trying to get reps for everybody. Um, it's a learning process. You know, those are two different guys coming from two different backgrounds and they're, and they're different ages, right? So as we continue to go through this, my goal is, is that each guy makes progress every day. I'm not in the business of, of making a depth chart right now. Um, I'm looking to have productive plays, uh, clean plays, a guy that can command the offense, can run the offense verbally and non-verbally. Uh, in terms of how we approach it. So um, not in a position after eight practices to say, hey, this guy's ahead of that guy. David? Just curious what your relationship with Chip is and how that sort of functions together. Obviously, you've been very hands-on with the quarterback and then him throwing up the offense. How, how, what's the dynamic between the two of you? Yeah, it's been really good. You know, having spent time with Chip, he knows how I think. He knows how I coach the quarterback. Um, I obviously at times can finish his sentences because I know what he's thinking, which is a, which, which is a good relationship. Um, I think we're both very passionate. Um, he obviously oversees the whole offense and, and implements it. Um, but I think he also trusts me to be able to coach these quarterbacks on a daily basis. Um, so I think moving forward, we have the same type of thought process. I think we see it the same way. Um, so I think it's, it, it, it's, a, it's a good relationship in terms of as we move forward in this offense. Rod? Yep. Yeah, you know, it's always hard, you know, when you get guys dinged up and you're not, you're not healthy, not, we're not fully healthy right now. And so we're getting some, um, some guys taking some reps, taking some reps off. But I, I'm pleased with, guys, we got enough talent around here. And, and I'm pleased with the guys that we'll surround the quarterback with. I'm excited. Obviously, you'd love to all be healthy and everybody running full speed all the time. Currently, we're not in that situation, so it's hard to tell. Uh, obviously, have some guys that are not practicing that will be a part of our offense, uh, which I think will, will make a big impact. So as we go through this, the, the biggest thing is the quarterbacks are comfortable with who's ever out there. Let's continue to make plays. Um, but I'm pleased, and we've, we've got plenty of talent on this roster. Chris, so I'll wrap this up. What do you think about uh, Jeff as a leader? I know sometimes maybe you don't have that personality. And how much have you had to coach him in terms of, hey, now it's your upper class and you've been here a few years. You're the quarterback. You need to act a little bit differently about your team. Yeah, I mean, I spent a lot of time talking about that. You know, there's a there's a ton of time that Jeff and I spend together not talking about X's and O's. And I think there's a 
there's a, there's a certain approach that you have to take at the quarterback position. And I tell guys all the time, there's, there's leaders comes in all different shapes and sizes. I said, you don't have to be a rah-rah guy, um, but you got to somehow get these guys to run, run through a wall for you. And I think Jeff has made that um, a point of emphasis this off season. Uh, I think if you talk to other guys on the team, you'll see that he's spending more quality time with these guys. He's going and doing things outside of this building with guys. Um, and I just said, if you look at all the great quarterbacks in the history of the game, okay, the one thing that sticks out is their leadership ability um, and the, the way that they can motivate people. And I tell those guys all the time, I said, great leaders take guys where they never thought they could go, right? Good leaders can lead them where they're supposed to go, but great leaders lead them where they didn't think they ever could go. I think Jeff has stepped up in a leadership role. I would clearly consider him a leader of this football team right now. Were you that way naturally, or did you have to learn how to be there? No, I was, uh, the good Lord blessed me. I had an older brother that was a year older, so there was a whole lot of, whole lot of fighting when I was younger. I had to be a leader. Um, I was fortunate to be able to, to feel like I was in a position um, to take a good leadership role. Um, and I guess I don't know it any different, so it's kind of natural for me. It's not natural for everybody. Um, sometimes it's a learned behavior. Um, and uh, so I'm trying to instill some of those things. Um, and that's what's great about having a guy coaching you that's, that's played the position and coached at every level, right? And the relationship I have with those guys is outstanding. Um, and so I'm really excited about the future of, of this program. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Good. Thank you.